Hey, um, uh, have you seen anyone who went in here? Uh, no. Why? Because someone just left a letter to me in my room. Was there a person in my room? I'm sorry, but for the last time, I see no one who came into the apartment. No one didn't went to your room if you locked it. Alright. I think I'm feeling crazy right now, but thanks for letting me know. No problem. Oh, by the way. Yeah? Rent? Oh, yeah, about that. Oh yeah, about that. Can I spend it? I have a paycheck for this week. Your mom's late. Again? Again. Look, I promise- Promise I'll... for crackers? Oh no! Not like that, you jerk! I'm really sorry, Mr. Lewis. All I got is $20 for the rest of the week, and I'll get 120 bucks for my newest job. Sorry doesn't pay the rent, and don't try to sneak past me. I have ears like a cat, and eyes like a rodent. Now you may go. Thanks for the money. you could do it. Um, hey, listen, I may not be around to send you a message tomorrow. Um, it's been a bad night here for me. Um, I'm kind of glad that I recorded this message for you when I did. Hey, could you do me a favor? Maybe sometime you could check inside one of those suits uh, in the back room. I'm gonna try and hold out until someone checks. Maybe it won't be so bad. Uh, I have always wondered what was in those empty heads back there, you know? Oh no. Alright kids, I'm here. Come and get me, but you must know that I'm not your killer. I don't care if you're not gonna listen to me. If you want me to die, then just do it. Then if you aren't, we won't kill you. children. I'm so sorry that you all had to become this. There's no need to apologize, but you must understand. We have been trapped here for years, and we have been mistaken for killing every night guard. Because we only recognize the outfit, but we know you're not our killer. 
but there's one more child who has been suffering the most. The sixth child who wants every night bar dead. She is not herself anymore. You must stay away from her. You must dismantle our bodies and then kill the murderer. Soon, once it's over, we'll soon be free. I'll try everything I can to help you, but I need... Hello, Kristen. Fred. What's going on here? You're about to come to your senses. How long have I been here? About one night later, the final night has come to an end. Wait, what happened to the phone guy? Did you kill him? No. That was Cassidy, my next assistant. I made so many killers out there. There are other pizzerias, and it's not like they only go to those places, but rather to the outside world. What are you doing? It's my next test. Well, look at what you did to your test. Just look at them. You stole their lives and made them this way. That wasn't their final test, Chris. And that would have been necessary if you simply just do your job without finding the kids. But you don't like this job, do you? You want me to show you mercy? You never tried to step to your door of truth. I remember the time you were there. That year of the disappearance. You were so close on stopping me. But you decided to leave the place because you were afraid that it would find you and kill you and your family. Then why would you kill those kids? They didn't do anything wrong. Not only the kids, but for every employee and night guards, and all of my friends, and my children. I did this, so I could see her again. All I have done, all my work so I could regain her life and soul, so we could be together again. You must understand, Kristen, the meanings of losing someone important, a loved one or a friend, but after you lost someone, you feel alone and afraid. You wanted them back so they could stay with you, and that's why I like myself who wanted my wife back. Without her, I would become something like a monster, but the monster isn't fully complete. I may have enough chances to be myself so I can save her again. Now. The next test is for you. You can't do this, Fred. This is madness. Madness. I'll be the judge of that. Leave him alone. You have been hiding from us forever. But now, it's time to end you. No. Stay away. Don't come any closer. <laughs> you really think you can stop me? No one can't. No one can't! <laughs>
Thanks, Chris. We're finally free. I'm glad you're dead, asshole. Yes, I hear you. I know. No. There is no miscommunication. I understand. Yes, I end his life. I did it myself. I think you like it. No, no one suspects anything. Don't worry. I'll be ready, and I won't let you down. It will be fun.